Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, Garcia's Land Service, making a quick video. Um, there was one of one of my subscribers asked me how I um, keep track of the money for taxes. Um, I use PowerPoint or Microsoft Office. You can use both. Um, what I do is just a list like this. Um, this list right here it gives me like the income. For 2016 um, as you can see I got pretty much really simple just keeping track of the money that you make per week and then I usually take 25 percent 20 to 25 percent out of that week total for example uh, there's all the months in one paper so the whole year I got it in one sheet um, then I put well I started April that's why I, I didn't f I didn't finish um, January February March so um, what I do I put you know like for example here in April uh, I put the week of 27 to to April 1st that's the first week and then in the total I put how much I made that week um, I put the total on there and then um, I use my calculator I put times 0.25 and then whatever equals um, I put it on the taxes and that's how much money I take out and I put it on the save box or in an envelope or whatever you want to save it um, and then you keep that money for taxes when you uh, when you pay taxes so that's how I do it I keep it organized so every week on Friday or whatever the week you have, if it's Saturday, your last day of working or Sunday, you know, you add up all the money that uh, you made that week. Even if you didn't get paid that week, you know, enough, you still write it out. That's what I do. And then I write down whatever I made that week. So for these numbers right here, right here that you may that you see is is pretty much the days of that week. So for example, June from the 20 to the 24th, that's Monday to Sunday, and I put the total and then the taxes times point uh, 25 and whatever I mean, you know whatever taxes I gotta get that 25 percent I write it down on the taxes and I write down there. So by the end of the of that year, you want to go over if you want. You want to go over for whatever money you made on um, on the taxes. Add all these numbers, and you should be you should have that mu that much amount. For me, I just take twenty five percent, but I think twenty percent should be okay. But I, you know, I'd rather have extra money than, than be needing to pay taxes. Um, especially if you get paid by checks, you want to do this, definitely. Um, this is some kind of advice I give you there. Because at first, when I was starting this business, I didn't know how to keep track. I didn't know anything about money-wise. So this is one of the videos. And I'm going to make... A little bit more videos about different things, different sheets that I have for different things. But this sheet I use to keep track of how much money I made that week, that month, and how much taxes I gotta get out per week. So this is my video um, showing you. I just I I believe I use PowerPoint, um, and it's very simple very simple and and you will never uh forget um how much money you made so thank you guys for watching hopefully this um helps you guys um gives you an idea you can make it differently if you want um but i won't be making a little bit little uh you know organize um different videos about how i started what you need really need to do you actually need another sheet for keeping track on uh, who pays you, who doesn't, um, if it's pending on the pay and stuff like that to keep track on that, which I'm going to make a video of that. 
I'm also going to make a video of, um, of the expenses because that's another thing you need to, to have to, to keep track. That way for taxes time, you can pay the, the very minimum taxes because you also have expenses to do. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped. If you have any comments, please leave it down there below and thank you guys. Peace.